the success of our service on today. We certainly want to remember men and women and children everywhere that the Lord will continue to save and add to the church daily such as should be saved. And we also want to remember all of our bereaved families. Uh, people are in conditions and situations and they need help.
Let's start with verse 1. Now Peter and John went up together into the temple at the hour of prayer, being the ninth hour. And a certain man lay from his mother's womb was carried, whom they laid daily at the gate of the temple, which is called Beautiful, to ask alms of them that entered into the temple. Who seeing Peter and John about to go into the temple asked an alms. And Peter fastened his eyes upon him with John, said, Look on us. And he gave heed unto them, expecting to receive something of them. Then Peter said, Silver and gold have I none, but such as I have, give I unto thee. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, rise up and walk. And he took him by the right hand and lifted him up. And immediately his feet and ankle bones received strength. And he leaping up stood and walked and entered with them into the temple walking and leaping and praising God. And all the people saw him walking and praising God. And they knew that it was he which sat for arms at the beautiful gate of the temple. And they were filled with wonder and amazement at that which had happened unto him. And as the lame man which was healed held Peter and John, all the people ran together unto them to the porch that is called Solomon's Great Wandering. May the Lord have a blessing to the reading of his word. Amen.
trusting in his holy name, he'll never fail us. Amen. He'll never fail us yet. Amen. And I heard the Bible song say that he never will. Amen. He never will. So as we get ready to go before the Lord, um, all the adults should have received an announcements on today. Amen. Oh, boy. All right. So we want to tell somebody to hand them out, or us just to hand them out. Uh, as we get ready to announce some great and mighty things that are going on in the house of the Lord. Amen. Uh, we, we know God is good, isn't he? Yes, ma'am. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Amen. God is good. Amen. And his mercy endured forever. Amen. Uh, as they said in the scriptures, I was glad when they said to me, uh, let us go into the house yes. of the Lord. Yes. And the Bible says, enter his gates with what? Thanksgiving and enter in his courts with praise. Amen. Praise ye the Lord. And I'm so glad, I'm so glad that the Lord looked upon us and chose us, amen, so that we can be a part of his inheritance. And let us not forget our media team upstairs and let amen. us give them the announcements amen. as well. Amen. God is great and he's greatly to be praised. Uh, when the Bible says that we sought the Lord, <laughs> And he heard our cry. He heard us out of the midst of a horrible pit, out of the midst of a higher mire and clay. Yeah. So as far as our announcements go, uh, this is June uh, 20th, 2001. Uh, first of all, I want to say a happy Father's Day to all of our fathers once again. Uh, truly, um, uh, we thank God for you. We thank God for your sacrifices uh, that are made. Amen. It's not easy being a father. Uh, it's not easy being a, a, a child of a father. <laughs> it's not easy being a husband of a father. But we all work together in Jesus' name. Amen. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. So as we uh, look at our announcements, Christian Ministries, we'd first like to welcome all members and visitors who are here today, uh, whether it be by virtual service or uh, in the sanctuary, we thank God for you. And we want to uh, thank and praise God and extend uh, uh, celebration to anyone that's uh, experiencing an anniversary or a birthday. We want to say happy birthday to you or happy anniversary. Amen. We certainly praise God uh, for you. Uh, upcoming events, especially happening on this week, uh, we have our Nigerian States Council, that's New York, Pennsylvania, New England States Council, starting uh, Friday, June 25th through uh, Saturday, uh, June 22nd, and um, it's all virtual, and you can find it on the Nigerian Facebook page. If you go to Nigerian Facebook, uh, you can find it uh, there. The Saints are uh, asked to, to register. You can go to Nigerian dot org and register or give your ten dollars to uh, Sister Yolanda to register for this great conference. Uh, we have some dynamic speakers uh, uh, on this particular day. Uh, we have uh, District Elder Daryl Fair. He'll be our evening speaker, uh, dynamic man of God. Uh, uh, District Elder uh, Daryl, District Elder James Stafford will be our Bible teacher and we were playing uh, various workshops uh, throughout the day, and it begins uh, at 10 o'clock a.m. on Friday, and it will last until uh, 7.30, uh, at least, well, now, I say about 8 o'clock on uh, Saturday, throughout, throughout Saturday, from Friday to Saturday, uh, various uh, empowerment sessions and various ways for people to tap themselves with the Lord. Uh, so give you your $10, register for this great conference, and be a part of what God is doing. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Also, too, uh, Christian Ministries Brotherhood uh, will be convening. We're going to start that back up. Uh, July 6th. Amen. At 6.30 uh, p.m. Amen. This next, uh, this next Tuesday, I believe that is, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, July 6th. Thank you, Jesus. Uh, uh, right after uh, uh, at 4.30 uh, 
4th of July um, weekend. Uh, then we're going to go and have our brotherhood. And we want to continue this every Tuesday of each month. Uh, Christian Ministries brothers, please plan to attend uh, each meeting uh, to help us uh, with our unity and help us to grow in one another. Thank you, Lord. So, also, too, um, there's a, a retirement dinner for yours truly. Uh, uh, see, uh, uh, Sister Yolanda, uh, for uh, any details and things like that, will be held in our banquet hall July 17th from 4 to 7. Amen. Amen. All right, so we also uh, looking forward to our New Horizons Daycare Center. Uh, that's going to be opening July 5th. God is a good God. God is a good God. Our uh, hours of operation will be Monday through Friday from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. Amen. And, and we would also like to invite everyone uh, to our services, invite someone to our services. Uh, Sunday Christian Education, 9.30 a.m. Morning Worship at 11 a.m. Uh, Bible Study. Uh, 6 p.m. and Friday night prayer at 6 p.m. Uh, Wednesday Bible study, we're going to hopefully uh, in the next two weeks uh, conclude with putting on the whole armor of God. How many of you know God wants you to put on that armor? Yeah. Amen. Yeah. And I heard uh, uh, Bishop Iona Lop, she preached, uh, let's get it on. Let's get it on. She was referring uh, to the armor of God. Let's get it on so that we be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. And we certainly do thank God also for that Friday prayer. That Friday prayer at 6 p.m. Uh, come on out. Uh, we uh, start at 6 o'clock. Uh, hear a word of faith from 6 to 6.30. And then we go into prayer. Amen. Pray that God would move on our behalf. God would intervene. And uh, during those sessions, uh, really the power packed session of prayer uh, and the word of God. We get that word and then we get that prayer to energize us so we can believe God. And you know, as, as, as I was studying the Bible, and if you read the scriptures about Jesus and his ministry, he often taught and then people prayed. He often taught, then people saw miracles, signs, and wonders. Amen? So let us, let, us, let us pray one for another and let us get into the word of God as God's word is able to encourage us. God's word is able to build us up. God's word is able to give us an inheritance among them that are sanctified. God stands behind his word. And, that, and when we tap in to God's ability by faith, watch out, things can happen. And then watch out, doors can open. Watch out, you can be encouraged and strengthened if you just believe the Lord. Amen? Amen. Uh, don't believe them in your own ability. Believe them because of what He said. Amen? Believe His ability. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Hey, don't lean to your own understanding, but acknowledge your God in all your ways so that He can direct your path. Amen. I just want to uh, go back uh, just for one moment to that uh, Night Payne State's Council uh, because it's literally happening this week. And um, uh, on Friday night, uh, we have uh, Pastor Daryl Fair. He'll be preaching at uh, uh, 7 o'clock. And then our speaker for Saturday night uh, out of Buffalo, New York, as well is Pastor Daryl um, uh, McCauley. And that's McCauley Jr. McCullum, I'm sorry, McCullum Jr. And he'll be uh, coming out, he's an assistant pastor, and he'll be preaching uh, the youth service. And then our schedule uh, for uh, Friday, starting at 11 a.m., we have our evangelism outreach, and that's a part of uh, Sister uh, Tracy Quinn and Sister Yolanda Hall, uh, led by uh, none other than Rosa Lord, Sister Rosa Lord. And then we have our global mission that will start at 1 p.m. headed by V. Marilyn Mathis. And then 
We have our 3 p.m. on Saturday uh, Bible study by District Elder James Stafford. And then on that uh, uh, Saturday at 11 a.m., we will have our youth and young adult service. Uh, these are empowerment sessions. So, you know, you want to tune into them. Uh, they line up great speakers uh, for these particular services. And that will be led by uh, Minister Marquise Thomas. And then 1 p.m. Christian Education, headed by uh, uh, Elder Gerald Daniels. And then uh, 3 p.m., our Christian Church Development. And that's headed by Sister, uh, well, Evangelist uh, Marie Cranwell. Amen. So I just wanted to put that out to you, let you know that there's something going on during those times. And all you need to do is just connect with uh, the Night Paintings uh, Facebook page. That's N-Y-P-A-N-E Council Facebook page. And when you get onto there, you'll be able to see these great services. And our registration, once again, is $10. Amen? Amen. Uh, I wanted to do that some justice. That's why I went back. And our, and our, and our uh, council theme this uh, June is uh, uh, warfare, spiritual warfare. Amen? For such a time as this. All right. So all that's clear. So right now, we want to move forward our service, and we want to take up our offering. Amen. How many of you know it's more blessed to give than to receive? Amen. God, he loves a cheerful giver. He loves a cheerful giver. We thank God uh, for each and every one of you that are here on today. Amen. We praise God. Um, also, too, there's opportunity to give who are virtual on our uh, Tithing app. All you have to do is do download Tithing, uh, go to Christian Ministries of the Apostolic Faith, uh, 930 Liberty Street, Erie, PA, and give. Amen. So God has made a way that we can also give electronically. And we praise God for your giving because there's a vision in the house uh, that we be a caring fellowship, leading souls to Christ, strengthening members and families, making disciples, equipping them for service and community ministry. There is a purpose in the house. God has given us a purpose that we might promote the gospel of Jesus Christ through effective, responsible ministry, being intentional, creative, and dynamic in our fellowship. Amen? God wants us to be dynamic. Don't you want to be dynamic? Amen. I'm going to be dynamic in everything I do because it's backed by God. And if we follow after the Lord, then shall you know if you follow on. And, and we thank God for our core values. Uh, we value love, commitment, sacrifice, and service, and patience. And we value one another. Amen. We love you. Amen. Pastor Queen, love you. Nobody tell you that they love you today. Amen. I want to tell you I love you. I love you with the love of Jesus. Amen. Uh, love, love can do a multitude of things. Love can build you up. So as we are preparing to give in this season, in this hour, to sow seed in good ground. Amen? This is good ground. Amen. Good ground. Uh, this, is, this, is a, this is a poor frog that doesn't croak in his own pond. Amen. This is good ground. Amen? Hallelujah. God will bless you if you give. Let the church stand. Amen. And just put your, your giving and your offering in your uh, right hand and let us pray. Oh, gracious Father, we certainly thank you and praise you for this opportunity to sow seed into the kingdom. Lord, we ask you, Lord, that you sanctify and let it be used for your purpose, for your glory, for the building up of Christian ministries and the body of Christ. We ask you, Lord, that you bless each and every soul and let this offering be also used for the building of our community. Hallelujah, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, Lord, we thank you and praise you for our community. We praise you, Lord, for each and every soul that is here on today that is set to give. Hallelujah, Lord, we pray that you return it 30, 60, and 100 fold. Bless them in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. So right now we're turning over to our ushers. Amen. And uh, so you can be able to give. Come on and bless the Lord with me. Come on and bless the Lord with me. Come on and bless the Lord with me. Come on and bless the Lord with me.
on this morning from that particular verse, Philippians 1 and 6. Paul says, being confident of this very thing, being confident of this very thing, that he which hath begun a good work in you will perform it until the day of Jesus Christ. And I want to take a thought uh, from that particular text. What he began, he will finish. What he began, he will finish. What he began, he will finish. And this particular epistle I, I like, and it's a good read in the sense that it's an epistle of rejoicing. It's an epistle of thanksgiving. Paul had, had started this Philippian church, and they had always been uh, one of his number one supporters. And because uh, they supported Paul, Paul uh, was a supporter of them. And in this particular epistle, Paul is writing them because he's expressing his confidence. His confidence that, that the Lord will complete or finish that which he had started. And what Paul was referring to was they had started on this road of salvation. They had started on this road of believing Christ, believing and trusting in him. And oftentimes when we are believers and we trust in the Lord, things get in our way. Sometimes we get some stumbling blocks. Sometimes we get off track. Sometimes uh, we may fall by the wayside. But Paul was convinced that if they stayed on track, if they stayed on the road, that God was able to finish what he began. And, and when we understand God, when we understand God and his ability and his power, that, that this particular scripture is really revealing something to us. It, it's a scripture that reveals a characteristic of God. And, and the characteristic that it reveals is that God is a finisher. That God finishes every and anything that he starts. And, and when we understand this, we can prove it by the word of the Lord. The Bible says, in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. And he created everything that was therein. And he did it all in six days. And the Bible said that after he completed it, he rested. He rested on the seventh day. He rested on the seventh day. God is a finisher. God is able to finish and to complete everything that he starts. There's nothing that God starts that he doesn't complete. There's nothing that God starts that he doesn't have the ability and the power to bring it and to see it to its end. Because your God, he even the Bible says, declared the end from the beginning. And, and you know, this is a fixed fight when you're walking with God because God has already declared. He, he has already established. And, uh, Paul said in the book of Ephesians, uh, uh, the book of Ephesians, it talks about how God has blessed us. He has already blessed us with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. Well, when did you do it, God, before the foundation of the world? God, God did it in his own power. He did it according to his own wisdom and according to his own knowledge. And oh my God, if God be for us, who then can be against us? And if God is blessing you, who then can curse you? Uh, I remember when God said he was going to bless our brother Abraham and when he could not find anybody greater to swear by God. I said, I'm going to swear by myself. I'm going to swear by myself because there's nobody greater. Uh, and there's nobody that's able uh, to be stand against you. But God said, I'm going to swear, swear by myself. And, and blessing you, I'm going to bless you. Uh, just hold on. God is blessing us. Just, just wait until your change comes. If you can just continue to seek the Lord and wait on the Lord and be of good courage. The, the Bible says, Strengthen your heart. You, you just gotta wait. You just gotta hold on and hold on to your faith. Uh, trust in the Lord with, with all your heart. And, you know, sometimes things get a little murky, and we gotta lead to our own understanding. But you just gotta keep acknowledging your God. 
Oh, when you look at the miracle 
need that pertains unto life and godliness. God has already made everything in the balance. God is meticulous about everything that happens to you. To women, he's already numbered the hairs on your head. God, he's already established every test and every trial that you might encounter and said that this test is going to be for my glory and this test is going to work for your good. Everything else that doesn't line up with that, God rejects it. God rejects every test that may come to you that's going to destroy you. So he gave 
is unchangeable. Great and precious promises. Yes, sir. He gave them to you. Thank you. 
use your mess or oh, get a whole other word. You use your mess to deliver you. You use your mess. What mess do we have? God will use it to deliver you. Oh, he was in jail. Jesus' name, amen and amen.